my god, can I get new reversing lights, please? What the heck? Seven fifty one AM Squirrel wakes in a hotel outside of Razao. Well, let's see where we can go from here, shall we? Based on average speed limits as per AI, which is what I just said. Which isn't very realistic, is it? In it. What the heck? A mining excavator chassis. And he's an S on the end. Fifty five tons. A mining excavator chassis and a mining excavator arm. I love it. Well, for science, where do we get one of those squirrel hats? Cap.squirrel.tv It's got to be done for science, hasn't it? Even though my truck is not really well suited to heavy cargo, apparently. I should probably get an engine upgrade. Actually, you know what? Let's get an engine upgrade. See what the others sound like as well. Where's the, uh... Wow. I left the mechanics all the way over there. Mom? Yes, dear. Mom, squirrel's cheating again. What the heck? Look at this. Let me just uh, take my truck round to some dodgy dealer and pop it on a ramp and sure, we'll uh, swap the engine out there for you there. That's fine. Uh, chip tuned, 639. Let's do it. Sounds pretty much the same. What is this place? It's got like a test track and everything. It's all this about. It's actually got a truck practice area. This is actually quite cool. This is like a um, Scania truck driving sim. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I never even knew that existed. Do some sweet jumps. Take like a, a Scania R1000 over there. Ten points for every cone knocked over. Oh, there's a little. Oh, why is that? Why is that just parked there? Jeez, could you paint your house any more red? Is that the fire department? PO box, I've got one box this week. One little box. Jeff's weighing. 
All right, Jeff, how's the heels doing? <laughs> Doesn't say a word. All right, freight market. What are the options? Oh, wow. Well, it's got to be red, hasn't it? Hey, look at this. Different colours to go with your truck. I love it. Let's take the red one. Jeff's a bit of a swinger, aren't you, Jeff? You can tell what. Just making sure the blood's circulating around his legs. Hey, hello. Wow, that thing look, looks like it's on the ground. Yeah, but Captain Flint, you're not taking into account my amazing skills as a driver, are you? The truck's not up to it, but I am. Um, Well, this is like Gold Rush. Hing! Disco! We need to fill up with fuel, actually. Look at that. That's really cool. Garlic bread, ETS2, my Scania and Southern Oak trucking, what a great night. Oh. Okay, let's have a look at our route here. Okay, straight west, past a fuel station, we'll stop on the A4 through Krakow. Katowice. A4 all the way, and then down the A8. Okay, it's pretty much A4. Why do the graphics look crappy? I don't know. Can you, can you name us something that has awesome graphics? Final slip road could be fun. B747400. <laughs> 12 months. Yay! Skyrim and GTA 5. <clears throat> Let me see. Multi million pound companies, AAA projects. Okay. That may have something to do with it. It's a car, absolutely. Rose Cat, thank you for five months. Duck hunt. Um, yes, ma, but I wasn't asking you, was I? I wasn't asking you the question. I was asking the guy who posted. The guy who posted that said, the graphics are not very good, just my opinion, or something like that. I said to him, "Name, tell me a game that you find has got really good graphics, and then you answered on his behalf. So, <laughs> I 
Pac-Man is awesome graphics. Depends on your point of view. I don't know why people are obsessed with graphics. I think people have become conditioned. They've been, they, their expectations have become conditioned to associate good graphics with good gameplay, and it's just not the case. Wow, I'm feeling the weight up here. Well, let me ask you this. Why do people play retro games? Do you think they play retro games for the graphics? Or do you think they play for the gameplay? Oh, boy. I'm going to have to downshift again at this rate. Uh, wheel slip? Rip. I may have to go and change my chassis. That's not happening. No, the diff lock wasn't making a difference. It's it's literally down to friction, physics. We are going to have to change the the truck. It is not suitable. Even with momentum, we just can't make that work. Uh oh, that's the wrong way. Where was it? Hmm. Uh, non-playable char. Hey there, have you ever s tried SciTech Farm Sim with ETS2 or ATS? The, the wheel, no. I have not. Oh, it's gonna mess us up. Something nasty now, isn't it? It's gonna, re it's gonna remove all my configuration options. Oh, just the paint. That's not too bad. Whew. Got away with it. Got away with it. Mom, squirrels cheating again. Okay, let's try and put ourselves roughly where we were. Which I believe was at the bottom of this hill. And let's try again. Nothing happened. We just reconfigured. BCS, have you ever uh, seen on SCS's site, uh, we get what we've been talking about for years. They work on follow cars to oversized trailers. There's a video for it. Yes, there is, BCS. Indeed, there is. Funnily enough, when I talked to um, Pavel at Gamescom, he said that that was coming. 
Uh, the pig's mud. <laughs> Thank you for subbing the pig's mud. Welcome to the net house. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the nutty welcome for pig's mud. Disco Andy, 29 months. Keep up the great content. Rose Cat, yay, five months. E747, I did do your anniversary, didn't I? I'm sure I did. I'm just going to hold the revs. By the time we get to the top of this hill, there'll be no fuel left. I'd be lucky if I made it up here in 3H Twixer. I'm 90, I'm now 100% throttle in 3L. And I'm just claiming revs. If I back off to 95%, I can hold it at 1500. 3H and it would have been going down, I think. I'd rather keep it at the top end, up at 1500, and I've got 500 revs to get it wrong. Come back lights. Babel Hannes, 25 months of awesome streaming and hopefully many more months to come. Thank you, Babel. Wait, what was the fuel station? It was on the left turn. Oh, crikey. Thank you, Rowan. about a quarter of a tank now I think it says 344k range is employing other drivers work just buy cheapest truck and let them drive meme wolf yeah as far as i can tell it doesn't matter if you give a worker the cheapest truck you can find or the most highly configured full powered end truck you can find it doesn't make a jot of difference nathan thank you for 14 months Just join you. You want to see the truck? There it is. A 
there's a di Jappy Mon, there's a difference. What are you talking about, sorry? Oh, you're about the truck, sorry. Go on, what's the difference then? You hate doing laundry. Well, <laughs> most people don't like it, but it has to be done. Because the alternative is a lot worse. <laughs> Loads of skills. Back in the early 70s, my dad had to have a Land Rover Series 2A hook up the front of his uh, scammel whilst pulling an oversized load up an incline. All it needed was an extra 50 horses to get him up. iPhone X, Rowan. Nah. Not a chance, Rowan. Hey Shadwell. Sometimes I give my employees my old trucks, but I don't generally see much difference in money if I just buy them a cheap DAF or something. Well, here's the thing. There's nothing in the documentation. Euro truck documentation? There's nothing in the game anywhere that tells you any information about what trucks to buy for your employees. So you have to assume it doesn't make any difference. Like, if there was a hint in the game where it said, if you buy your employee a more powerful truck, or one with a longer range, or whatever it is, they'll be able to do bigger deliveries. But it just doesn't say that. I think in ATS, I just gave them the cheapest um, Peterbilt I could find. Try Christine, 15 months. Happy early Halloween. <laughs> will we see you a costume from you? Uh-huh. All the kids will be dressed in costumes that need coats because it's fr below freezing here. Yay, Canada. Northern Alex was telling me that yesterday. It's already minus three or something. Uh, rep. Absolutely, it's the only solution for laundry is to get somebody else to do it. What I feel sorry for are people who work in laundrettes or something like that, who are cleaners, and then they have to go home and do their own as well. That must be really annoying. I think, by the way guys, particularly if you're in America, next week, next week in Europe, the clocks go back. They go back an hour, and then the week after, I think the clocks in America go back. So what that means is, next week Sunday night trucking, and the one after, if you guys live outside of Europe, you need to make sure that you join an hour later, or perhaps earlier. I don't know, I can't work it out. Because we've got time changes coming <laughs> Next week is Europe, week after is America, so... I hate to see people wander through the door into the stream at, and go, What the heck? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm an hour late, you know, or I'm an hour early. Because it always messes with people. So, next week is Europe, week after is America. So just be aware of that on the Sunday Night Trucking stream. You need to make sure that you're in the right time if you want to watch it from the start. Yes, yeah, so I think in US you need to be you need to be an hour later, and then the week after your clocks will move and you'll be back on five hours again, or whatever wherever you are. If you're on the East Coast, your five hour gap next week you'll be six. The one after you'll be five again. DC break. Thank you for the resume. Uh, apple pie. My parents used to have a dry cleaning store. We just brought our laundry to the store and did it there. One way of doing it. Did you dry clean all your underwear as well? <laughs> yep, 
You only have two modded trucks and two employees, and the two are you and Corrales. Lol. That's the other thing is, oh, if you've got, yeah, yeah. if you use a modded truck, don't give that truck to an employee, because the moment you get rid of that uh, mod, uh, when you go and look at what your your employee is driving, it'll be nothing at all, because it'll remove that truck. Blue Brothers, hello Paul, I'm back from your holiday. Welcome back, Blue Brothers. Hope you had a good one. When is it exactly in Europe, La Bandida? October the 29th. October the 29th at 2 a.m. It will it will go back to 1 a.m. And then the week after, which I think is the 5th, I'm not sure, is when America uh, loses daylight summertime. Good morning from New Zealand. Good morning, sir. Happy Monday morning to you, man from the future. Yeah, you get an extra hour in bed. That's the only upside. You get an extra hour in bed, and then at four o'clock in the afternoon, it'll be dark. Well, it's not entirely stupid, Tommy. It happens for a reason. They don't just do it because they want to annoy everybody. There is actually a reason for it. Oh yeah, actually Benji, you might be right. Oh, I don't know though. Yeah, it might be three back to two rather than two back to one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they do it. Like, I know when it goes forward, it happens at 2am and it suddenly becomes three. But when it goes back an hour, I can't remember if they started at two and jump back to one, or started at three and go back to two, I can't remember. Okay, so, hey love, yes it does say that, it does indeed say, higher drivers are more efficient when equipped with a good truck. That is the most vague sentence you could possibly come up with though, isn't it? Like, what does that even mean? And how can you measure it? That's the most important thing. If I was to give my employee a 300,000 euro truck instead of a 150,000 truck, how long is it going to take them to... Um, earn that 150,000 back in efficiency or should I just give them a 150,000 one and it doesn't matter there's just no way of measuring that it's, it's, it's completely nonsensical Shouldn't it be an hour forward in winter though for the daylight? It makes more sense. No, they want to make it Gandalf so that the kids can get to school in daylight. That's really what it's all about. But, you know, they've talked about it for years, getting rid of it, all kinds of... It never happened. Everybody sits around a table and puts the points of view forward and they're all perfectly valid and nobody can agree on a change. You think you and Frosty agreed on something? Flipping heck. Homemade beef stew. You've got to love that, Martin. That is a proper winter meal, that is. Let's take a photo. Oh, aye, 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 aye. It's a bit like Dre's car. <laughs> Peterbilt, people are like, I don't want to change everything, it must stay the same. Oh, do you know, the resistance to change is unbelievable. Christmas, he buys me a flight yoke and pedal, and I buy him the GT chair. <laughs> I like that. 
I like that Christmas filled with gadgets. No, I think I had issues with the autumn mod when I was using it with the uh, foggy weather mod, so I turned it off. I'd have to get rid of the foggy weather one to use the autumn mod. Which I could do, but... Thing is, I mean, if one of the reasons for the clock change is so that kids can walk to school in the daylight, I would quite happily point out now the hundreds of cars that appear every morning and every early afternoon because most kids now seem to get picked up and dropped off from school their parents won't let them walk home so you know it's becoming more and more invalid as an argument Kaishio thank you for eight months sir what's the cargo? Uh, 55 tons of mining equipment Mining excavator chassis. They have. They, they've forgotten the kids have legs, Heyman. And Mrs. Squirrel is an absolute nightmare for it. I used to walk to school. I used to walk and get the bus. I never got dropped off. It's outrageous. Science guy, 46 months, almost four years. You're close, man. 46. You'll have your four years at Christmas. Oh, no, I hate these lane drop-offs. Exactly. Go Rush meets ETS2, exactly. You don't have a car, so no choice. The problem is, Chippy, is when they when people get the choice, they they misuse it. Oh, we've got the option of driving there now. Let's let's uh, let's just drive. It's a bit windy outside. Let's drive. It gets easy to be lazy. Exactly, Shedwell. I used to walk in the snow, the rain, the sleet, the hail. <laughs> you name it. Stand at the bus stop waiting for the bus which was never on time are you gonna let me over dude or are you just gonna be like that guy bc thank you for the resume seven miles from school well you see that's that's different isn't it you know i used to live uh well depends what school i went to but when i was under 10 i used to live seven miles away i used to live in billinge and my school was in St Helens. I had to get a bus. I had to get a bus every day. Uh, on the way in, I would most likely get dropped off by my mum who was going to work. But going home, I would finish school at like three o'clock and she only finished work at five. So I'd always get the bus back. In senior school, we moved uh, and lived a few hundred meters from school. So I used to walk it. And then, in A-levels, I had to get the bus two and a half miles, I think. And that was horrible, because that bus was never on time. But there are kids who live just like 200 metres away from school getting dropped off, it's crazy. It's just laziness. Trudger for life, thank you for 10 months. Happy 10 months, Paul, thank you. Ottawa, I just answered that. Mining equipment. You worked for a while the Pilkerton building in St Helens. Very 60s. Yeah. That's not there anymore. Well, it's not a head office of Pilkerton anymore. Yeah, 
I used to like walking to school like that. Ten minute walk in every day would kind of wake you up, you know? It's worth it. No, I agree, Chuck. Some areas are not. I mean, it, this is it. It's all practicalities and safeties that have to come into this. There are some areas that are just not safe. And, and I totally agree with that. But largely, oh, it's yeah. down to just laziness. Inappropriate use of the car. Preferred to walk home. Fair <laughs> play. Peter built uh, when I visited Germany. My German, my German host lived five minutes from his school, and we walked there. It's a different experience because I was used to going to school on a car. You got a taxi, Mrs. Frosty. Blimey, that must have been expensive. Coral said we got to sell the Bentley, Billy. Have you got a Bentley? <laughs> you get dropped off in a Bentley every day. Hey, Drew Drew. Paul, you could go on X Factor with that sob story. Dude, you can go on X Factor with anything. about St. Bilgy from? Well, I'm from St. Helens. I was born in St. Helens, in Sutton, in fact. But well, I lived in Billinge from the age of... Let me think now. Five to eleven, I lived in Billinge. Good night, Joku. Sure, Ottawa. It's another thing that I've said before, Ottawa. I really wish when I click on a on a, a trailer in the job market, it would tell me which mod pack that came from. That would be so useful. I could answer so many questions with that. Full of pound lens. <laughs> well. The problem with St. Helens is it, it lost its industry. It's an industrial town and industry has collapsed. You know, it used to have all the major glass manufacturers were there in St. Helens. It had coal mines. It had, it was a, an industrial powerhouse in Helens. Now there's no industry. All the money's gone. As if, as if. Well, it's true, Get Fresh. I mean, the, as, a, as a, a country, we used to be very industrial. Lost a lot of industry. We used to have motorcycles. In the 60s, our motorcycle industry was the envy of the world. We used to have a very good car industry. It's all gone. Total Gamer, thank you for the host, sir. Appreciate it. Natum, how do we still have a good car industry, mate? What cars do we manufacture in this country? That there are actually British-owned. Let me say, let me add that one because 
yes we manufacture cars in the UK but they're not they're not owned by uh, the UK are they the Morgan right okay how many people do you know own a Morgan Wow, the frames! What the heck? Jaguar owned by Ford, is it? Aston Martin owned by... BMW, possibly? I can't remember. Now you're asking. Oh god. <laughs> Perfectly safe. Jag is on by Tata. What the heck? What's going on? What's the bus doing? Is it broke down? It's gone foggy. Whoa, did you see that car? I'm like indicating moving on with a 55 ton trailer oh, and he's yeah. got a lane free and he just sticks right in his lane, like as you do. Mercaholic, thank you for 200 bits, sir. Appreciate that. No, I think he's going to do a foggy weather mod for ATS. He's not released it yet, though. I think he's going to focus it on 129, though. Always struck a guy. Always. roundabout that's perfect for getting heavy haul through thanks what's that one Mrs. Squirrel back today, so get cups of tea again. KND, thank you for 41 months. Just missed that one. No, it's not, Don's not been on yet.
Good work. Okay, what did I do wrong? <laughs> a damage penalty. When did I get the damage penalty? Hmm. When did I get that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Might have been the toll boots. I don't remember it saying damaged or... I don't remember getting hit by anything. Right, 5pm in-game. Uh, there's a sleepover point over the road here. Just go to that. When it dropped from the sky. Oh yes, that was it, Blackmud. How I I almost forgot about that incident. Uh, Ramo Charlie, hello Paul. There are rumors kicking around SCS push the release of the next gen scanner due to problems with the mighty Griffin pack. Uh, you got some info about that? Keep it a good work. Uh, I don't have any info about that, Ramo Charlie. A kip in DHL. Oh yeah. change your chassis it could have been when I teleported in maybe I when I teleported the truck in maybe I slightly dropped it that is possible Somewhere. What on earth is this place? There's a rest area around the back, apparently. Wait, what? Look at the mini map. <laughs> The minimap implies that you can drive down here. Would love a tube if it would let me sleep anywhere. I would. Quite like this distribution center, this is awesome. Oh, nice parking, bro. I, I'm really digging that parking. Oh, wait a sec. I'll just sleep here tonight because I can't sleep in the car park I can't pull over by the side of the road and sleep but I can sleep here in front of another parked vehicle game logic I can't see anything it's 2.20am <laughs> ASMR stream Alright, let's see what jobs we've got.
I'm happy my own pro mods. Welcome back, Nata. Euro goodies. Oh, you've got to love Euro goodies. Ikea. DHL's got glass panels. We've got petrol down to school logistics down the road. Might take that, actually. It's a small journey. Flower. Low bed semi-trailers, 11 tons all the way to Kiel. To the Could take that and go via uh, Wilson. Oh, oh yeah. and Forced as well. I can actually pick up two discoverables if I route this correctly. That's my current favourite. Uh, who was that? King Dave, thank you for the resume. Matt Love, thank you for the resume. And Kenny Moja. <laughs> Can we give Kenny a lovely nutty welcome? Thank you for subbing, Kenny. Welcome to the net house. Sawdust panels. Okay, I think we'll take that one. And we'll reroute it and get some discoveries done. I reckon that's it though. You're not sure about the squirrel ASMR thing? What's it to be not sure about? Daddy of War, Danu, 500 bits. It's almost the end of another weekend. Dude, dude. Live in the now. Let's let tomorrow worry about tomorrow.